So how do you seam two carpets together in a doorway? What's good everybody? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video we're going to go ahead and do some doorway seams here so anybody, the DIY world, the newbies, and even you professionals can figure out how to do seams with the quickness so you get paid that much faster. So here we got our doorway seam. We just pulled back one piece and we threw a nice straight line on there with our straight blade. Now, if you can't cut a straight edge on that, no worries. Most people can't. So you just go ahead and throw some form of a straight edge on there. Next, we're going to notch out the other piece and we're going to fold it back and trace all the notches with our razor blade. This goes against traditional knowledge of the carpet industry, but let's be real. Where are you getting your education from? Some overweight drunk that's been in the industry for 40 years or an incredibly handsome dude like myself that's going to show you the hack style and get to the finish line. So let's go ahead and finish out this video here and get the result you really want. We go ahead and lob both of those off. We're going to get some seam tape, peel back to one side, and drop that seam tape down. We're going to fold one little edge over, fold the other edge over, tucking it under. That's going to bump it up on the texture. We're going to drop the seam iron in there. Let's sit there about eight to ten seconds in this fast forward video. Who knows what that'll actually convert to. Maybe it will be eight to ten seconds. Who knows? And slide it an iron's length before we get rid of any strings that may be coming along with it. Blend it in with your fingertips there. Make it look pretty. If everything looks good, tuck in the one side. Take that iron. We're going to slide it to the other edge of the door jam there. Boom, boom. Everything's good. Blend that seam in. Life is good. People step on the seams. That usually helps blend them in too. So have all your friends step on the seams while you're working. That's definitely a good thing there. They're doing a good job. Now you go ahead and slide the seam iron out of there. Put together the last little bit the key thing is you don't want to let the fibers fall down into the glue when you put the seam together you want to make sure it is backing to backing touching to get the best result let's really go crazy on this though cut 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 everything's good go ahead and burn that seam boom 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 okay we got all that done that was great and i'm just gonna let the camera roll a little bit longer because why not see if some people walk around everybody's standing around talking messing around on their phones Boom, let's go ahead and get some results on another one here. Fold it back, cut it with a straight blade. Go ahead and notch it out, boom, boom, boom. Trace those dots. Get that nice clean edge on it, everything's good. Get some seam tape under there. Grab your seam iron, let it sit for eight to 10 seconds, slide it iron's length forward. Go ahead and pull it out and you are good to go. Ba-boom!